Hello, I'm Beth Parkinson, Director of Customer Insights here at Rockwell Automation. We're at Automation Fair 2019. I've got Jason Anderson from Stratus Technologies and Armin Craig from Rockwell Automation, and we're going to be talking edge computing. So Jason, there might be yep. some folks who aren't totally sure about what edge computing is. Can you give us a quick description and also a little bit about some of the trends you're seeing? Okay, sure. So edge computing is really the idea of bringing IT or even cloud-like resources down to where data is actually processed, stored, or even decisions actually actively get made at the plant floor, for example. Um, the trends are um, really interesting because you can't just take IT technology and push it down there. It's a different environment. So the big trends we see are different approaches to things like resiliency. Um, cybersecurity obviously is a big play there because connectivity is really essential to making the edge and cloud work together. And then uh, I think the big third one for us that we tend to find is that there's a very high degree of emphasis that needs to place on the serviceability of the compute devices, especially as you bring more complex applications down to the edge. Yeah, to make sure people are comfortable with how to use it, how to operate it, et cetera. Right. Or, or how to service it. Yeah. You know, what if something breaks? Or what if you want to do predictive maintenance on your line? And uh, predictive maintenance isn't just now making sure that things are properly greased, it's also uh, putting like a security patch onto your device to make sure that it can't be compromised, right? So that's a new type of maintenance, right? Yeah, Armand, you were just spent two days with our Process Solutions user group. How are these trends um, manifesting into the discussions that you're having with the PSUB team? Yeah, so as we evolve, as technology evolves, the Purdue model, that was the traditional Purdue layers. model, layer three and layer four are starting to erode. So that functionality is starting to move down into the OT layer and also up into the cloud. So uh, talking about features like uh, compute modules, uh, analytics, predictive maintenance, is all being uh, uh, utilized there by the OT field to be able to be out of the box solutions. And that's where Stratus and Plan PX are starting to partner to be able to empower the OT uh, field to be able to bring functionality and ease of use at the edge. Yeah, I know we've, we've talked about this concept of scalable compute where there's things that you want to be able to process say, at a machine or equipment level, but then there's things where it makes sense to compute at, for more of a facility or a plant at the edge. Yeah. And then there might be data that's going to the cloud, but more for enterprise level decision making. Right. So, great. And it, from what it sounds like in this report that you guys just did, um, the, we might be at that early stage of the tipping point related to people using edge computing. Yeah. I think you said that there was about 50% of the people said they either were already using edge computing or were planning to in the next couple years. Right. Where do you see the early opportunities for people who are leveraging edge computing right now? Well, it's kind of funny. It does definitely depend on the industry and the customer type. So if you look at, for instance, say the oil and gas industry, they're very focused on thinking about um, how to in simplify or maybe even get software definitions around the control space, right? So we yes. do a lot of work with Plant PX there. Um, but if you look at other industries such as like energy, there's definitely, uh, or electrical energy specifically, there's a lot more focus on the analytics and data side. So it really kind of, uh, edge computing is pretty great because it can really satisfy both types of requirements. Uh, but the truth is, is we're definitely seeing it play out in different places in different ways. What are you seeing, Armand, related to decision, the types of decisions people think they need to make where edge technology will help them make those decisions closer to the operations? Yeah, I, I think the ITOT merge is still something that we're working through. Um, and with, with the uh, ZTC edge, along with our virtualized templates via Plant PX, um, we're able to marry those two together to uh, provide the out-of-box solution that used to be a cumbersome uh, server setup and also a, a multitude of hardwares that existed in server racks. We're now able to pair those up and put them into uh, the field, actually, and put them into uh, right at the edge, right where the, the data is, and uh, compute, uh, serve up data, uh, also serve up operator uh, interfaces right there at the edge. Yeah. So it's all about simplification. Simplification, How do you make yes. it easy for people to deploy this across the different right. Yeah, operations? absolutely, absolutely. Right. Well, great. I know that right now there's like best uh, early adopters and people who are just getting started. Where do you see the best practices that people have already started deploying have used that you think are, could be lessons learned for people who are just getting started? Well, I think the first one is security. Right. Um, we tend to um, see our solution, we have a product called ZTC Edge, Armand mentioned, where the OT user is beginning to rethink their architecture, rethink the way they deploy applications, maybe mix applications in new ways, like for instance a combination of plant packs plus 
um, say like a PTC set of tools, yeah. right? We have actually a customer we're working on right now on that topic. And um, what we're seeing is, is that um, when the OT person gets this new vision for how they want things to run, um, there's a connectivity element and that connectivity element requires security. And that's when we tend to see IT come to the picture. And what we try to do at that point is facilitate the discussion on two levels. The first is, how can these two teams collaborate together? Because this may be the first time they're collaborating in a really meaningful way. IT's always been kind of like, well, I, I, you guys own it, right? So this is a new thing. The other piece of it is, is that security um, for a long time at the edge has really been about just kind of partitioning off and just preventing penetration. But now you have to worry about things like data integrity. You have to worry about things like, uh, even things like corruption. Um, there's a lot of best practices there. So I'd say that security really is that, that entry point where things get real, right? And it, and it sounds like it's not just about how do you deploy security technology, it's how are you getting the people from IT and OT together to work on the architecture right. that meets the needs for a secure operation. And it's a different architecture, right? I mean, there's things that uh, our partners like Rockwell are doing, right? And you could talk yeah. about that. And there's things we do at, at the system level um, to enable people not to have to buy a bunch of other stuff. We just embed a lot of it right into ZTC. Cool. That way, it's a lot less complex and easier to manage. But, Which is yeah. critical in the market right, right now. Yeah, and, it, and as that data starts to move down, that and also the, the higher level compute is up in the cloud as well, uh, there are multiple requirements and improved uh, uh, specifications for redundancy and resiliency right. within the architecture. So as more of that data is moving up and down, we need to continue to improve resiliency and redundancy so that a single fault or multiple faults within a reference architecture will not uh, impede the traffic of the flow from uh, edge all the way up to the cloud. So it's not only about how do you help people make decisions at the right level closest to where they, you know, how fast yeah. they need to be made, it's also making sure that you're, you're not risking the operations by having constraints, at, whether it be at the machine, the edge, or the cloud. Yeah, so. and, with, and within Plan PX, we are pairing the Stratus offerings with our reference architectures to be able to okay, uh, walk the OT person or an, uh, system integrator through how to set up this infrastructure to make sure that they're getting the same results as we are within our lab. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well we're going to wrap up. I want to have each of you just give one final thought. Why should people care about edge computing right now? I think, you know, once you begin to expose data to the business or expose it to places where maybe it hadn't been exposed before, it unlocks tremendous value to drive new types of efficiency, but also potentially even new ideas and innovations. So to us, we really see it as kind of a, the enabler of the digital transformation and it allows you to bridge kind of your existing world to the new world. Yeah, and I believe I believe empowering the the field, the field, the expertise that is right, right there at the edge with these tools, uh, uh, localized compute modules, localized analytics, localized uh, uh, redundant servers. We are able to actually get more and more innovations out of it by enabling them and uh, creating ease of use solutions. Yeah, it sounds like simplification, speed to market yeah. are really some things that Stratus and Rockwell are working together on. So if you want to learn more about edge computing, check out the edge computing trends um, study that Stratus yeah. Technology just recently did. It's on their homepage at stratus.com. There's even a self-assessment, so take it, check it out. Thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for following us at Rock Live. <laughs>